Hey YouTube, it's your girl TT. I'm coming in here today to do a sew in weave with the Bobby Boss First Remy um, Classic Wave. This is my second install with this hair. And if you watch my other video, you'll see what it looked like during the first go round. But what I did is I washed it and conditioned it after, after I took it out. So this is what it looks like after I washed it and conditioned I laid it air dry. This is the 12 inch and this is the 14 inch. So I'm going to go ahead and um, install this for a second go round. And so far it's pretty good. I didn't um, seal the wefts on it again this time because I didn't really have time. But I'm hoping it holds up because last time I had minimum, minimum shed shedding. I was so impressed with it. I, I really, really enjoyed that. So... I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'll show you guys as much of the process as possible. So, goodbye. Well, I'll see you later. Hey, YouTube. I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've already gotten started, and I've sewed in the entire 16-inch, I mean, not 16-inch, but 14-inch width. It's really full so far. Let me turn around. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. And what I'm about to do now is get started sewing in the 12 inch. So, you guys stay with me. Hey 
YouTube, I'm back. Um, I finished sewing in everything, and I have some hair left. Let me show you guys the back. And honestly, I actually like the wave pattern pattern better now than I actually did the first time. And this time I use more of the weft, so it is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot fuller. So as you can see. I have left the hair out up top, but I also have space here. Now for blending purposes, what I've done before in the past is that I've um, did the invisible part method here and then took that hair, this hair here, and was split it over the invisible part. And for me personally, that worked really well when it came to blending my hair because I am transitioning so I try to keep out um, as less hair as possible so that's what I'm going to do here and I've done um, this method before and it really worked and it did last so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'll be back to show you guys so, goodbye part technique on this side and this side and now what I'm about to do is blend the top and all I'm going to do is flat on it for right now and this hair is like really 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 big and I'll probably curl it in the morning with my conair but for right now I'm about to blend the top I'm going to use my argan oil Yes. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is probably um, straighten this hair out a little bit to tame it because it's, it's a lot of hair and I'll probably curl it in the morning. And I'm really tired, so that's what I'm going to do. But this is pretty much the idea of it. I'm going to take this and like... Flip it back. Do something like that. For the meantime, I'm about to braid it up, put a bonnet on, and go to bed. So, you guys have a good night. I will have pictures in the morning to see what it looked like after I curled it. And feel free to ask me any questions. So, y'all have a good night. Goodbye.